The system that we have, this debt system, is a form of bondage. It's a form of slavery. It stops you from being able to essentially be your true self. When you're in such a situation that we are going to find ourselves in, we're going to have to rely on each other. We're here for the money. We want the money. Bitcoin is the money. We don't want the fiat currency. I guess it comes down to that, you know, do you think humans are intrinsically good or evil? I think they're good. Once people start to create that space again, they'll all of a sudden have the veil lifted from their eyes and they'll look back on their old life and say, I can't believe I ever lived that way. So welcome to the first episode of the Staying Free podcast. I'm Johnny and in this first episode I just wanted to give a bit of a rundown of what to expect in this podcast. So this is completely unscripted, this is just me talking and hopefully this kind of gives you an indication of what I want to achieve and why I've started this podcast. So we're living through a time where I see that there is a kind of crossroads between the freedoms of the individual and the will and the might and the strength of the state. And I think there are a lot of people like myself who feel like the rights of the individual and the ability for the individual to live a life of freedom, purpose and self-sovereignty are in complete contradiction to the current direction of the world. So the central theme of this podcast is how the individual can maintain freedom and maintain sovereignty in a world which is increasingly moving in the opposite direction. I think that the solutions are not going to be found through the traditional means I think that many have arrived at the same conclusion that I have now, which is that politics is not going to solve these problems. The legacy media is not going to solve these problems. So what I want to do is facilitate conversations, which hopefully are going to help empower that countercultural movement, which I see as the seedlings of a revolution, which is happening because the way I see it, we either move towards a different world and we completely move away from these legacy institutions which have clearly failed us and we build a new movement which hopefully gathers steam and I believe it will gather steam and we turn around the way that the world is going or we have an extremely dark time ahead of us given that so many people have in my opinion rightly so lost trust in the legacy system I think that more people need to do what they can to help empower the countercultural movement and essentially the resistance against what we're seeing in the world. So with this podcast, I want to have interesting conversations and share ideas of how we move forward. What I want to do is just to create a space where people can come and share ideas and feel like there are others out there like them who also want to build a better future. And I want to create something that's in a different format to the ways that we're already communicating. At the moment, the prevailing platforms like Twitter as well as suffering from issues of censorship, they also don't allow nuance. Trying to share your thoughts in 280 characters or whatever it is on Twitter is not necessarily the best way to communicate, generally speaking. It forces you to condense your thoughts and ideas into a very small soundbite. And what I hope with these conversations is that people will be able to communicate in a much more nuanced format. From a personal perspective, I feel like everything that's going on in the world is forcing people to really question the role that they're going to play in building this new future. And I know that I will regret not doing everything that I can to try to steer the world into the direction I want to see it because I really do feel like everything is on the line and we all have to pull our weight and do the part that we can in order to create a world of freedom and fairness and honesty because the alternative really is incredibly bleak. I'm sure there will be many differing views of people who speak on the podcast but the important thing to me is that we all have a foundation of believing in free speech, believing in fairness, believing in freedom and fundamental first principles. It doesn't matter if you're Labour or Conservative, it doesn't matter if you are Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter the colour of your skin, none of these things are important. The important thing to me is that we're able to advocate for the values that we all care so much about and have conversations in a calm and collected manner that we can share with others and that hopefully can help to move the narrative forward in some small way. This is still an experiment at this stage and it will continue to be an experiment that just evolves over time and I'm absolutely willing to take on board any feedback that people have 
for the kind of conversations that people want me to have, but I hope that you get something from it. And I hope that it can serve some role in helping to facilitate conversations that I think are so important and I'm sure many of you will find important and to play some small role in moving us towards a world that we all want to see. So I think that's enough monologue from me. The future episodes will generally be interview based, at least at the moment that's the direction I want to go in. Maybe the formats will change up as we go forward, but I just wanted to give a bit of a primer here in the first episode so you know what's coming up and you know what to expect. Please give me a feedback. My DMs are always open. You can check the show notes for links and stay free, stay sovereign and stay sane.